How's it going everybody? Welcome to the Lily Pads and today we're going to be looking at the brand new Cars Works and Marmot Audrey 2 from the movie Little Shop of Horrors. Now as far as I'm concerned, I'm not sure if there is another officially licensed figure that exists of Audrey 2 yet in the communities or anywhere else in the world. If that is the case, please leave a comment below to let us know if such one exists. Other than that, as far as I know, this is the only official sculpt figure toy that exists of Audrey 2. Now first, let's take a look at the articulation in this thing. And the tendrils, each one of them swivels. It's a little hard to move them. This particular piece is a designer, collector figure. It's not really recommended to Pl be played with like Bandai Creation figures and other Godzilla toys or even the Gashapons. This is meant for an adult collector to be displayed on a shelf, etc. So, as far as articulation is, not everybody's completely savvy on if there's articulation or not. It's nice if there is, however, it does not make or break with some people. So, like how this tendril is only moving. In this area, you'd have to force one out of here to have it go down. So again, articulation isn't the big issue with some collectors. The head at this cuff rotates back and forth. The big leaf in the back blocks it from turning 360 but I don't think that's really an issue with how beautiful of a figure this is for people to really complain about. The head does move up and down on a pegged cuff, unlike a rotated cuff that you see on the tendrils or the neck right here. If you pull this out, I will demonstrate. You can see that it's on a little peg cuff right there. I don't know what exactly is the correct term for it. It's pretty unique and allows the head to articulate up and down to be open or not opened. And by finding the right fulcrum, just put it back in place very carefully. Maybe in just a second. It's a little tricky sometimes. There we go. And just goes back into place like so. And in order to move the head all the way up, you need to move the head to the side. So that way the big leaf back here isn't blocking its way. And then it'll open up all the way. The last part of articulation is at the pot right here. It rotates like this. And that is all the articulation for the figure. As far as detail goes, the detail on this figure is superb. There aren't any other figures out there of Audrey 2 that I'm aware of, so for this to look the way it is, the sculpt, it's just beautiful. It's fantastic. It's a stylized piece, so they're not aiming for exact movie detail like X Plus and a couple other garage kit companies aim for. But for it being a Safubi stylized figure, I'd say it's pretty realistic. It looks very much like Audrey 2 herself. It's got really shiny colors, and it's meant to really stick out in the collector's shelves. The flower pot looks really nice. Got these little micro details there. The tendrils look very much like a plant. The leaves look fantastic. Very nicely detailed. Even the little teeth on them look really nice too. The head looks 
amazing as well. Got some leaves coming out of the back right here. Little veiny details right here are really nice. The lips look really plump and big like in the movie. Then if we look in the mouth, you can see that the mouth is very disturbingly accurate and grotesque, just like in the movie, how there were dark purple roof parts in the mouth. I'm not sure if the tongue was red. I think it was more of a purple color, but this looks really good, too. And the teeth are sculpted really nicely. So we can zoom in there. Overall, I'd give it, if there is a 10 out of 10, this is it, since there really aren't any other Audrey figures to compare. This one just takes the cake as the best, I guess, because there aren't any others. As far as paint job goes, the paint apps on this are really good. Nice light and dark greens that complement the leaves to really give it the characteristic it's supposed to have all over orange, the different shades and washes on the lips look great too. The inside of the mouth is really nice. I like how they blended the light and dark blues and the purples. It's also light and dark. Different shades in the teeth too. It's not just one bland color. It's a combination of other colors to give it a realistic yet popping, vibrant, Safubi feel. And the flower pot's a dull clay. I think it's, um... Terracotta is the technical name for these kind of clay pots. But it's a light and dark brown. You can see some of the lighter sprays right here and the darker sprays right there. And then on the bottom we've got the 2020 Marmot Cars Works Japan stamp that is on most licensed figures. Overall, I definitely recommend that you get this figure. It's going to cost, if you can get it from Marmot themselves, $210 total. I think it's $180 plus 30 shipping. Due to the coronavirus, the shipping methods all over the world for Japanese goods and other places have been back and forth depending on what territory and country you are from. I know that in the United States, they're asking $30 for shipping. It's probably universal everywhere else if you get it through them. A couple other shops have been asking double that price already for this figure. So if you want to catch it, at its near retail value from its release. I highly recommend you pick it up now. Alrighty guys, thank you for this look at the Audrey 2 figure. I will be posting more videos in the future. This is Frogzilla, signing out.